Hey, Dave Spaulding, Handgun Combatives. I want to take a moment today to talk to you about deliberation, or probably more accurate, deliberateness in your actions. Those of you that have been in my class have seen me refer to the shooting skills uh, pyramid, uh, how, how to build shooting skills. Now, this isn't mine. I got it from... Uh, the U.S. military, primarily naval special warfare, but I've made some modifications to it. The original pyramid had fundamentals down here, and as you can see, I've changed it to the word essentials. Why? Because the skills that you have at that level are absolutely necessary. They're not basic. They're not uh, remedial. They are absolutely essential because they are the foundation that everything else is built on. A lot of instructors are using the word essentials these days. They're using the word in the titles of their uh, their courses. Great, don't care. Not going to get into an argument about who thought of it first. We're getting the right visual, uh, verbal image. When you're trying to be verbally, visually descriptive and you're talking about these skills, the word essentials, absolutely necessary. Uh, I, I'm just glad to see everybody starting to use it now. What we're going to be talking about, though, in this particular section are the concentration and the consistency levels of that particular pyramid because these two levels right here talk about deliberate action. And what am I referring to? I'm referring to making yourself do these things well. You just saw me do a reload. And as you can see, the, the gun is empty. And when I performed the reload, I inserted it and I didn't do the classic overhand, manipulate the slide and come back around. You saw me insert it, pull on it, and then reacquire my grip. I pulled on the slide the same way you would reach up and pull on a cord, turning on a light. Or if Darren behind the camera was to hand me something, I would reach out and take it. I literally pulled on it and then went right back to it. I pulled with the stronger fingers. Reason I did that. First, understand that at handgun combatives, we don't do random, we don't do arbitrary, we don't do trendy. Everything we do has a reason behind it. Now, you may not agree with the reason, you may decide to ignore the reason, but we don't just do stuff because, or because I like it, or because I tell you to do it. There's a reason behind everything because that reason is important to you. Because if you're truly going to learn a skill, you're going to master it, you're going to anchor it, you're going to spend a lot of time, effort, money, and ammunition doing that. So that reason has to be important to you. In the case of loading the, the, the gun like this and then turning it and pulling back on the slide, number one, it does use the stronger fingers, but it also is less movement. I'm up, I turn the gun, and then I reacquire a shooting grip. And this is where deliberateness comes into it because I see so many students in my classes that when they're drawing from the holster or they're performing a manipulation, whether it's a reload or a malfunction, they just slam their hands together and just kind of take whatever grip they can get. Wrong. Don't fall into that. Don't fall into that, that desire to go a little bit faster and accept a crummy grip. You've got to have a good two-handed grip to control that recoil and rapid fire because it may very well be multiple shots to a relatively small area of the body that brings your assailant down and saves your life or the lives of someone you care about. So one of the reasons I insert and I pull is because my hand is right here. I literally pull back on the slide until it bottoms out. I can put my hand right in there and I can shoot. You're one of those people that doesn't like to manipulate forward of the ejection port. Great. You see this big tail hanging out of the bottom of the slide? Insert the magazine, pull on the tail, and you can still get that shooting hand in there. And you'll notice I roll that hand in. I roll it in because I want these four fingers to engage these three fingers and cam back on that muzzle, holding it down, holding it in place. Minimum movement allows me to get a more deliberate grip. On the draw stroke, I tend to bring my hand up high. I don't put it on my abdomen. I bring it high because when the gun comes up and turns, I want to roll the hand in the same way, getting that good 
two-hand grip that will allow me to drive the gun to the target and control it in multiple shots. So, a little word on deliberation, be deliberate. Take the extra few seconds to make whatever technique you're trying to perform truly happen. Just don't accept whatever comes. Dave Spaulding, Handgun Combatives, thanks for checking in.